Today you are graduating. You are the first cohort. I'm so proud. So Today is one of the many graduations that we will have. And really at the heart of the graduation is recognizing the hard work the women have put towards upskilling themselves, getting to build their confidence, um, getting to become more investor ready, more compliant, formalizing their businesses, because that's what the training program that we offer. We offer a training program called Ignite, and it really is to start resetting a foundation for growth. The bold ambition is to reach 5,000 in the next three years, 100,000 in the next decade. This program was birthed to make sure that women move from just profit generating to wealth creation. And the reason for that is because we had realized that women are not involved in formal economy and women are just sitting in the outskirts of that and are not decision makers. So for us to have this program and to see women graduating, but also the most important thing to give them a program such as this one, which doesn't only build their confidence, but it goes a step further. It also helps them to access markets and it also helps them to access finance, which at us at GMT we always say is a 360 model. Because we always say if you just capacitate women and not help them with access to markets and access to finance, you're setting them up for failure. We want the African women in these networks to sit at the driving seat to make decisions about those sectors in which we are present to transform those sectors to serve the millions and millions of citizens in our country. So you are the face, you have to be the voice, you have to be the power to transform those decision-making places based in your own experience of what it takes to change, but what is going to take to change systems and how it is to take to change leadership style, which is not that of very important people sitting on top there. You'll continue to be my girls, glamorous as you are, simple as you are, but powerful to change those corridors of power. Change the corridors of power, but you remain humble. You hum remain simple. You remain the daughters of us, your mothers. Having to see Mama Grasha Michelle to me was the biggest highlight and her speech actually resonated with who I am, what is it that I want as a woman and being surrounded by these ladies and just seeing the works that they do made me realize I'm actually in the right path. One thing that stood out for me at the Women Creating Wealth is the pitching. Oh my word, I think my pitch took 15 to 25 minutes, if I'm not mistaken, which was a mess. And um, the coaches, the first thing that they said was time. First of all, do you fully understand your business, the ins and outs of your business? Can you tell a story? And we put you under pressure, right? In three minutes, can you pitch and tell us everything about your business, including asking for the money? I'd run businesses, many businesses in the past, and I had to sit and wonder on this program, why are they no longer existing? Why did I have that small-minded thinking and the fear that I had of success? Women creating wealth made me to understand that I'm not an island in South Africa. As I'm talking to you, I'm doing business with people who are in Kenya. I'm doing business with people who are in Nigeria. I'm doing business with people in Dubai because of women creating wealth. It was super inspiring. It was... Uh, it allowed us to reimagine really our brand as an yes. actual business. Yes. A brand that can make a lot of money. Mm -hmm. It taught us a lot about financial management, communication, yes. leadership. Yes. Um, personal mastery. Per personal growth as businesswoman and for the business as well. It allowed me to align my business 
with things that are very valuable in terms of industry. Um, to be target focused, to be streamlined in terms of understanding who you, I want my clients to be, what kind of clients would I like, what value do I add to them, how do I become of service and relevant in the industry and make sure that I have an exchange that allows me to be empowered but also empower others. Since I've been here I have met amazing women from Africa, from the world who would actually make use of our services because now we even offer coaching virtually. We are now busy with our website where we'll provide the training programs that will also be attended by anyone anywhere in the world, which was something that I've been thinking it was a long-term vision, but being here on the program, I realized that it's doable and I can achieve it now. Partnerships are so there, there's more partners, who are interested in their growth, there's more partners with Grassi Michelle Trust who really want to see them create a billion dollars and 200,000 jobs in five years, realizing the big audacious goals.